Hey guys, how's it going? It's the team here at Authentic Mission. And look, on the last little while on this channel, we've been dealing with some serious topics in pop culture, internet safety, blah, blah, blah. We are going to get back to computer stuff, but not so much about the safety thing, because I, I think I made my point. So, um, now, I want to start a new segment on this channel, and I'm going to call it Film Class Episode 1. Now, being disabled, I can't do, uh, I can't get into techniques and camera, and I can't show you stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you, um, how we can learn from TV and from movies. And, um, by that I mean, like, if you really want to get inside a writer's head, and you let's say you want to do a um, sitcom or a drama buy your favorite drama series or comedy series buy, buy your favorite TV series let's just make it simple like that and l actually listen to the commentary they'll tell you stuff that was improv by the actors sometimes they'll tell you okay we were gonna put this scene in here first but we chose not to because it kind of ruins the flow of the of the episode. And you can actually pick up a lot of tips about flow of your episode or flow of your movie. Listen to commentaries on DVDs. <laughs> My assistant makes fun of me for this, but uh, um, a lot of times what I'll do, especially if it's an older movie that I've seen before, I'll buy a movie and I'll listen to the commentary first. <laughs> Uh, I've listened to every commentary on every Simpsons episode of every Simpsons DVD that I own. Not every Simpsons DVD, because I don't own them all yet. I'll be honest, I procrastinated a little while, and I was like, um, okay, uh, um, uh, you know, like, if I if I start buying the Simpsons DVDs, I got a long way to go. I think they're up to season twenty seven now. Eek. I quit watching them for a while, but that's just me. Um. So anyway, yeah, listen to the commentaries from DVDs. Listen to interviews with directors. They'll tell you about their process, and then you can start to learn your own process or. Maybe try their process a little bit and see what works for you. Like, I mean, um, the there's a movie called Midnight Special, okay? Uh, fairly new. It stars, um, oh, what's the guy's name? Damn, 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 damn. Well, it's got the one guy from Star Wars in it. It's got the other guy from uh, Superman in it. He played... I can't pronounce the name, but it's one of those alien names anyways. Um, so, yeah, like, listen, like, for him, for example, with Jeff Nickel, um, the director of Midnight Special and Mud, starring Matthew McConaughey, and a bunch of other ones, he brought up the fact that, um... Like, he got the idea originally from, like, a speed chase in a movie. So he was like, ah, oh, I gotta make a movie with a speed chase. Then he snowballed it into, well, I'm a new father, and there's all this stress with being a new father, and, um, like, how you feel like you gotta protect this little creature this little human being whatever and he put all the like and he said his son was sick and he felt like there was nothing he could do and so then that snowballed into the movie midnight special which has to do with like aliens and sci-fi stuff you go from thinking about a, uh, being a father to a sci-fi movie a lot of stuff can be done through sci-fi like i haven't written a lot of sci-fi stuff because I'm not too sciencey, like I don't know what might sound realistic, what might not, what might be too far-fetched. Um, 
So you go from thinking about that, a, a speed chase, to thinking about being a father to, boom, you got a sci-fi movie about a father trying to protect, uh, well, crap, I don't want to give it up. Well, yeah, a father trying to protect his child. Um, I won't get into how, I won't, all, all I'll say is it's a good movie and check it out. Um, but you have to listen to DVD commentaries. If you're honestly, truly into film and into writing, whether it's books or, or, uh, novels or, uh, TV series or whatever it may be, you, you have to listen to commentaries. Um, you don't have to listen to every DVD you buy that's got commentary, but if you're curious how they thought of something, or sometimes they'll give you special effects, um, hints, just listen to commentaries. Find your process through other artists. Doesn't mean copy other artists, but every artist can learn from each other. So, later.